Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a video of my Little Mermaid collection. Now, I don't really want to call it a collection. It just kind of became a collection. I didn't mean for it to become a collection, but it just kind of became a collection. So guys, I have the fan turned on in here and I'm really hoping that it's not going to distract you from my beautiful um, video of my treasures. It's just so hot in here. Maybe because I'm wearing like a wig and a beanie and it's like 80 some degrees. I was like, I don't know, maybe, maybe not. So I need the fan on right now to keep from dying. Now, I know you might be thinking like, what is wrong with you? And the answer is, I don't know. I don't know, okay? I just, I just don't know what is wrong with me. I've always been weird. Ask anybody who's known me. So with that being said, I don't care if you think I'm weird or not. I'm going to show you my collection. Another disclaimer that some of these items probably have been seen in another video here or there of mine, of hauls or whatever. Some of them have not. Definitely not. Um, some of them are new. Some of them are years old. I want to show you what I got going. So first of all, this is an awesome beanie hat that I found on none other than the E to the Bay. And it's called, it's called, and it says Kiss the Girl. And I don't think it's like official Disney merchandise. I don't even know what that says. It was $5. I'm like, this is like, what? So I ordered that and it just came and like, I don't want to wait till hot weather because the way that the world is having like menopause right now. Who knows when it's gonna get hot or cold. So, okay, also you can see, I'm gonna start with my shirt. But this says, I'm really a mermaid with Ariel on it. Let's continue on into the clothes I've got. I love sweatshirts like this because they are thin material, but they are long sleeve. So they are warm, but they are not too warm. We're the mirrored image of Ariel and it says, mermaids have a lot more fun. So I got this from JCPenney's a while ago. I think I got this at Kohl's on the clearance rack for like $2. Just says The Little Mermaid. Super cute shirt. It's a t-shirt. I mean, what more can you say? I got this. I don't even want to talk about what I paid for this. I was under a lot of pressure when I went to see The Little Mermaid. Like on Broadway, but not in, is it called Broadway if it's not in New York? I, I don't know. I went to see like the professional play of The Little Mermaid. And I felt very pressured because like the line to buy things was like super long. And when you got up there, there was like one lady working and you had to hurry up and say what you wanted and get the F out of there. And like the whole time I'm like in line, I'm trying to think what I want. I'm trying to look at prices. I'm too far away to read prices. Da -da 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 -da. All these things going through my head. I get up there and I'm just like, ah, ah, ah. And I just like pick things and I don't I'm not even gonna disclose what I paid for this shirt because every day I look at it and I'm like mm. it was a split second decision and it was a bad decision but I do like it don't get me wrong but I mean ugh. so anyway it this is from the um Benedim Center which probably most of you won't know what that is but it's just like the a big Theater? Opera? No. I don't know what it is. It's a place where fancy people go to watch fancy things in Pittsburgh, PA. So anyway, this is from that. Then there's this shirt. I've had this shirt for a while, but I think this might be a Walmart find. And it is just like a muscle tea tank with Ariel on it. And it's really pretty because it is sparkly and glittery. And it's kind of just like her silhouette sitting there. I really like this. I actually wore this with a pair of fancy pants. <laughs> a pair of fancy pants when I went to see The Little Mermaid like at the fancy theater show. Oh poop! I do have at least two things that I am missing. One is that you saw if you watched my Hot Topic haul and it is the black shirt that just says like um, part of your world. It's black. It has, a, it has like a lace silhouette in the back of her. It's gorgeous. If you want to see it, I'll link my Hot Topic haul. Go check it out. Um, that was in the wash, so I could not bring that over here. Um, this one you would also have seen if you saw that haul, because it was like, buy one shirt, get 700 free there, or something goofy. But it, again, it's just Ariel, and it says, Wonderful, wondering free, wish I could be part of your world. 
and, it's and then I got this is so cute and I'm like I don't even know this is like around the house thing because I'm nowhere skinny enough to wear this like out in the public but I don't know what I'd put over it to like make it work so this also is from Hot Topic, but this wasn't in my original Hot Topic haul. And this is this cute little sports bra. It says 1989, and that is when The Little Mermaid was released. But um, just a regular sports bra. So I got this, and then to match this, how cute are these? These sweatpants, and they just match the sports bra, and it just says 1989. And it, the 89 on both of them are fuzzy, like a carpet. Oh. How nice. This is um, really cute. This is a cute little workout bra. It says true strength from within and it's meant to look like little shells, big shells. <laughs> and then if you turn it in the back, it says Ariel. Oh, how cute. And look how cute the back is. I love this. I think it is so cute. And then get this guys matching workout pants that are like capri style pants and they're like that workout material it's really nice and then here's a shell on it it says 89 and yeah it matches this obviously and they also have like a windbreaker that matches this which i think is kind of cute but then i'm like you might be overdoing it yeah that's what's crossing the line leah the coat is crossing the line. Maybe I do want the Lindbergh. I don't know what I want in life. So with that being said, that and then the thing I'm missing, which I don't know, I completely forgot. I spaced, which is in my Hot Topic haul. I will link it, like I said, if I didn't already or if I can again or whatever. The men's PJ pants that have the, um, that are turquoise with like the sparkly little holographic mermaids on them. Those are so comfy. I love those. Also from Hot Topic. And let's move into my trinket range of things. Um, first, I'm just going to show you this because it is the loudest and the annoyingest. And those of you who saw my what's in my bag video, I will link it. I'm like having way too fun like using those cards because I just figured out how to do it. And anyway, you will you would have seen my beautiful set of keys and known that um, this is from Five Below and it's Ariel. No, Leah. We thought it was John Stamos. I wish it was John. But this is Ariel. I just said that. Then I have this cute little, um, it's like a baby Ariel thing. I don't even know. I saw it. They had them, they have them for all the princesses. And then I have this from the Dollar Tree. If any of my friends out there ever are at the Dollar Tree and in the toy section and happen to see any character from The Little Mermaid, if you snag me that, I'll uh, reimburse you with tax. Anyway, here's Ursula. I didn't take her out. I don't know why. Like, it's going to be worth mills one day, right? And then along the same line as toys, I've had this for years and years now. This is my Ariel Barbie doll. And I love, this is just honestly, I think this was like $7. And like I said, I've had it for years. And I just love it because it's just like the like iconic Ariel. Oh look, I never even noticed that. Look at that. It's like late, like you see that like toll coming up there? That's the bottom of her tail. That's so cute. I bet that you can take the fin off and she's has legs. Cause I can see her feet form down there. That is so cool. It makes me want to come play with it. I do have a John Stamos Barbie doll as well. So Ariel, I'd meet John Stamos. Okay, this is just getting freaking creepy. <laughs> but anyway, this is my siren case. And if you saw my iPhone case collection video, I will link it. I don't know how many times I can link things. So I might be only allowed to link one or two things. And I'm just saying I'm linking everything. So, and here's another one. And this was from, I think, Amazon. So yeah, there are those two. And those can both be found in my video. Let's get into some cups. I don't have the lid to this. This was actually dirty and there's a crack in it, which makes me really sad. But it does have a purple top and a purple straw, but I just rinsed it out real fast to bring it over here. And it is a glittery tumbler cup and I love it. This that I also got, no, I got this at Spencer's actually a long time ago. 
and it is, I don't know if you can see the glitter on it, but she's outlined in glitter and she's chipping a little bit and that makes me sad because I don't put her in the dishwasher. But yeah, I love this cup as well. And then, again, this is what I drank my coffee out of this morning. So this is dirty and you can see like lip prints and everything else. But here we are again with something from the fancy theater show. This actually was not that overpriced. Yeah, it was, I guess, but not as bad as that shirt. Um, just as Disney's a little mermaid, it's like holographic kind of, and it's a little unevenly like um coated, and you can see like build up, it looks like oil runs that dried and stuff, but you know, it is what it is. I mean, I didn't even get to look at it, I just said what I wanted and they it was in a box. And then of course I have Disney's The Little Mermaid, and it's the Diamond Edition. It has the DVD and the Blu-ray, and it has this adorable, oh my gosh, little book in it. The Little Mermaid book. Ah, so cute. Oh my gosh, I have to... <gasps> Look, there's Max! Yes! Anyway, I have to read this to... Logan, I honestly, like... Have watched this a million times and I never even paid attention. I knew that it was a little book in there. I never even paid attention to it. What kind of fan am I? I should be ashamed. I can't play anything for you probably because of like copyright stuff but my ringtone is um, Under the Sea. Not the whole song just like the melody of it but I do have the um, soundtrack on my phone and ask anyone that is unfortunate enough to be part of my world that has me on Snapchat, um, I belt these songs out and I can't sing worth a crap. But I don't care if they make me happy. Unfortunately, we're coming to the end of this video, but I do have one thing that I have saved as the grand finale because it is probably the most over the top thing that I've purchased and it is probably definitely gonna look ridiculous when I walk around with it but I'm probably definitely not even gonna care. With that the seller of that was nice enough to include this little aerialfreak.com sticker. Now let me just tell you I've I have yet to visit this site and I'm afraid to because I don't know what I'll do. Someone has to like chaperone me while I'm on this site and that brings us to the grand finale item. From what I've gathered, this um, bag was sold in Disney stores once upon a time. I don't know when. I don't know if it still is, but I could not find it online on their Disney's website. Here it is. And I know it's a bit much, but so am I. Da, 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 da. Yes! Look how big this thing is. I was shocked when I saw how big it was. It's bigger than my whole head. It's bigger than my whole like chest, like my whole being. This is kind of like a doctor bag, bowling bag style. It is super cute. It is turquoise. It is glittery. It is sparkly. It is embossed with Little Mermaids, um, seashells, anchors, starfish, and it does say right up here, the Little Mermaid. This is a lounge fly bag. And then I love the fact that it has freaking gold feet so it doesn't sit on the ground. It does have the tag still on it, just says Disney Lounge Fly. And then it does have the, the tape over this is a little smudged, I haven't removed it yet. But it does come with this clip, this keychain that clips on right here. And it is, you know, the iconic silhouette of Ariel. And when you open it up, and I think I'm gonna be really, really happy with this purse because honestly, it's huge and I need a big purse. You can see inside is huge and spacious. You have a pocket here. Oh, that's just like a little inspection sticker or something. You have a pocket here, pocket here, and then a zipper pocket back here. I know it's a lot. I know it's loud. I know it's gaudy. And I know it might be ever so slightly immature for my age. But you know what? I don't care because when I look at it, it makes me smile and it makes me feel happy. And at the end of the day, isn't that what life's all about? So everyone, that was my Little Mermaid collection. I would love to know what is your guys' favorite Disney movie. Thank you so much for watching this, and thank you so much for putting up with my silly ass 
me personality if you're not subscribed please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and i will talk to you guys soon bye bye everyone